Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Project Ascension Season 8. Today we're checking out Hoplite, the legendary mystic enchant. This one turns your defensive stance into phallic stance and turns your sinister strike into sinister thrust. Um, that, different abilities with a javelin, a polearm, and a shield. There's javelin throw, there's an impale, little uh, bleed effect there with Colossus smash, as well as shield slam, which turns into shield strike. So it's kind of a, an offensive defensive stance. So basically a lot of damage as well as retaining, kind of like a Spartan in a way. So this is Sparta! Definitely getting some Spartan vibes from this. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of like the guy from League Pantheon. So with a basically a javelin and a shield. Um, different offensive abilities as well as still having that shield to defend against certain attacks. So we're going to check out this enchant and see how it goes. I started with the Sinister Strike, which is very crucial for this one. Also the Eviscerate, just so we have some kind of damage in the beginning. And then the Defensive Stance, which is important for this. And I think we got the Blessing of Might to start out with. Some of the enchants that we rolled with the cards were Colossus Smash, which should be pretty important. And then the Seal of Light, which is just a little bit of sustain. Um, and then the golden skill cards that we got were the shield slam, which were very important. I picked revenge just because I had it and I figured it might go together nicely. And then some of the lucky cards that we got were, uh, execute blessing of Kings and dispatch. Um, dispatch is nice because you can use that does damage and it doesn't take up your talent point, your, uh, combo points, which is absolutely absurd. I don't know how that works, but it works really well. Um, and then also whatever you're using does extra damage if they're low on health. Blessing King, so I'm thinking about just replacing the Blessing of Might. Execute, just uh, Execute always comes in handy, especially if we're going to be mainly Warrior. And then um, Judgment of Justice, just to go along with our Seal. And just a little bit of a slow as well, especially if we do some PvP. So uh, we're going to head through here, see what kind of stuff we can get. We will have to obtain a pole arm so we can pair that with our shield. So what I'm probably going to do is grab one of these Xenias or a Trinket or something that's a low level. And then we can put our uh, Enchant on it as soon as we can find a pole arm and a shield. Definitely some really good shields in this game that would be pretty good for this build. So we'll get right to it. Level 10, let's see what we get. Shadow Word Pain, Flame Shock, and Rejuve. Go with the flame shock just because we need a little bit of damage and it's a little bit more instant than the other abilities. And we're level 10, so we're probably gonna hit up some battlegrounds and then maybe some dungeons after that. And we also have to go grab our enchant as well. So we'll get started on that. Alrighty guys, welcome back. We hit level 60. We got some gear as well. Look at some of the abilities we got. We got our javelin throw, our sinister thrust, um, the Colossus Smash, Heroic Strike. We use these a lot. Uh, we also happen to get a victory rush just for here and there. Uh, Whirlwind helps a lot in dungeons. Uh, Judgment of Light, that is just on rotation sometimes. I use it once in a while. Um, the main thing, Blood Rage, we have that. We got Execute, that helps out once in a while as well. Um, a couple other little things like Blink and Intercept, those are nice to have. Uh, the Stun. Um, we got Redirect and Dispatch. I think those are really crucial for anything with combo points. And we actually happen to get those, which helps out a lot as well. A um, couple of little things here and then that we use sometimes if we just kind of have downtime or if we're in like a dungeon with the uh, content creation, um, revenge, little things here and there. Not too much rage, which is nice. You just pop that whenever it comes up. Um, so yeah, let's hop into a couple things like a battleground and dungeon, see how this fares. So far, it's pretty fun and we'll take a look. All right, boys, we're over here in a heroic dungeon. We're going to be fighting this guy right here, this ambassador, flame man. Um, class is pretty fun. It's a lot better single target when you get into multi-target. It's not that great. Um, and it all depends how you get to build it and what kind of abilities you get to draft. Um, so what I like with any combo point generating abilities is dispatch. It's really handy to have as well as redirect. Um, so basically what I do is I start with the javelin. I use the Colossus Smash to reset that. I use that again. And then I start building up my combo points. The first time I use my combo points, I use Dispatch, and then I usually use Recuperate, because I have a talent for Recuperate that increases my energy uh, regen. And after that, I basically just start funneling it right into the Shield Slam, and that reduces the cooldown of my Blood Rage, which just gives me a bunch of extra damage. So you kind of just want to keep that running as much as you can to get the most amount of damage you can do. Um, a circle of flame, it looks like. Oh, look at that, it's just a little gem. Um, I actually got this pole arm from this boss last time I ran this dungeon. Um, but yeah, basically you just want to keep Blood Rage up as much as possible. It does a bunch of extra damage.
So we just went through a heroic dungeon as well as a battleground, and so far this class is actually pretty fun. I love the survivability with it, with the blocking, as well as some of the parrying and stuff like that with the revenge and some other abilities you could probably parry up with this very nicely. Um, the abilities are nice, the blood rage is definitely a nice damage bonus. Yeah, other than that, um, I paired it up with some random kind of Ares and enchants. Um, oh, actually. Huh. I wonder when we got that, because... Maybe that's why we're not doing all as much damage as we were. Um, anyways, uh, we paired up with some like random things that I just happened to come across. Some some cost reduction ones as well to help out with the energy. Um, we also got this one, Spartan Kick, which I thought would be awesome to pair it up with. Unfortunately, we haven't actually gotten Kick. We don't have any kind of interrupts, just uh, this Concussive Blow Stun. Um, definitely use that a lot, which is very handy to have, but an interrupt like Kick would be cool. Um, other than that, definitely pretty fun class. Good survivability, which is really good. If you're able to pair it up with some uh, talents like the um, this one right here with the increased healing, as well as something like the second wind would be really good, as well as the blood craze. You can really survive quite a long time with the defensive as well, especially with the shield, all the armor. And you turn the armor into more strength with the armor to the teeth talent. Definitely a really cool build. Um, might be playing with this again sometime. But we'll stick around and we'll catch you in the next video and next build.